Well, greetings viewers and voyeurs with Got That Funk. Uh, we've been wanting to make a video on this topic for a long, long time, but for some reason I never got around to it, so I thought I'd get around to it. Um, anyway, the topic is that of soulmates. Now, this is a concept that's bugged me for a long time. Uh, I sort of fell prey to uh, believing in soulmates some 20-odd years ago before I was married to my first wife. Um, and I actually had it in my head when we got married that she was my soulmate and all that kind of stuff. So uh, there's my disclosure. That's as much as I'm going to talk about that. So I, I used to buy into this mentality um, that uh, your soul was a thing, whatever it is, I don't know, and that, um, and that it was somehow incomplete or, yeah, not whole, you know. And uh, it really bugs me because now I look at back on that kind of mentality and I, and I just can't even really remember how I could have thought like that. Why, I did, why did I buy into it? Because um, a couple of reasons. Number one, I don't believe in souls really. It never really did really as such. Um, it just, you know, it was a notion that I, I, I sort of found romantic, I think, and I, and I wanted it to be true. Um, but that's then, uh, you know, I don't believe in souls in general, but it strikes me that if there was such a thing as a soul, it's insubstantial. It's not made of any material of any kind. Uh, therefore, it has no size, shape, color, temperature, no qualities. Uh, <laughs> and therefore, it cannot be either whole or partial. You know, uh, it is what it is. It, it, it would be basically nothing. So how can it, how, you can't divide nothing by half so yeah um, the whole idea of you know, some people seem to still talk about soulmates in the way that I used to think about it which was that you know you're basically an incomplete entity and you need your other half to make you complete I am now offended by the notion that we're born incomplete uh, somehow in the sense that uh, you know you need another person to complete you I don't think that's true at all. I think, uh, you know, I myself have um, a desire to meet someone and settle down with her and, you know, make a life for ourselves, but I don't think it has anything to do with spiritual compatibility so much as it does with uh, practical compatibility. And um, it's not that I feel incomplete, it's just that I feel that sharing life is more. Uh, enriching than doing it by yourself so yeah I now that I'm sort of more open about it to myself and honest with you know what I want from uh, romantic aspects of life I don't have to romanticize it with all these grandiose concepts like soulmates now some people when they say soulmates they just they, they don't mean in the sense that that you know your soul is puzzle piece that's missing half and the other half is in someone else's soul and all that kind of crap. Some people just use the term to mean that, you know, they met their soulmate, they are like ultra compatible. And that's cool up to a point as long as you don't presume that, uh, you know, there's only one person on the planet that's your true soulmate, that's truly compatible with you. I mean, there are seven billion people on this planet and the chances are there's a multiplicity of people that you could get along with and be attracted to and etc it's just that they don't all cross your path you know um, you're lucky enough if you can find someone uh, in your own area uh, to fall for on that level you know um, anyway enough about that I just wanted to say that I, I do find the concept of soulmates a little bit uh, it sounds romantic but it's actually more of an insult to romance and that's really what I wanted to say with this video. But let me know what you guys think down below. I'd be interested to hear all your thoughts. In the meantime, may all your ups and downs be ups. Thanks for watching.